Okay, in the last video, we talked about activating plugins. So we were on our dashboard, and if you haven't already noticed, what you would do, you click on plugins. You would either add a new plugin or go into your GoDaddy um, hosting, which would be here, and use the file transfer protocol file manager. So there is actually a third way of doing this, which I just wanted to share with you because it's a huge time saver. Now you can continue to go into your dashboard, add new, type in the plugin you want, activate the plugin. If there's a challenge, you go back to the, the hosting uh, control center. Okay, now this is a little bit of an advanced um, using or excuse me, advanced technique, but it's a huge time saver. And once you understand how it works, I think you're going to end up uh, using it a lot more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in file Zilla. And it's a free FTP solution. And it's basically a client or a server you actually just want to download FileZilla client server, install that on your computer, and then what it's going to do is it's going to link to your server. It'll give you all those files on your server just like the hosting uh, file transfer protocol file manager does but it's going to do it in a little bit more intuitive way and you'll be able to move files back and forth. So I already have it pulled up. This is what it looks like. And what you'll know notice is you have a host, username, password. You have a port, but you don't have to worry about that. It's going to pick it up. It's GoDaddy, so it's already kind of configured. What you notice is it picks up my hard drives. So these are all the files that I have right now on my hard drive. Uh, this would be on my desktop. Okay. Here's my desktop. There we go. These are all my files on my desktop. You notice I have this Jetpack here, and then I have the Jetpack zip file. That was the one that we were kind of playing with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I am going to deactivate Jetpack, and then I'm going to delete it. Okay. Yes, I want these files off my server. So now that's gone. So I click on my dashboard, plugins, and you notice it's no longer there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and use the file transfer protocol that I find in FileZilla. I'm going to log in. And then I'm going to transfer those files onto my server and reactivate that plugin. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what my FTP username and login is. So there again, if you go to Google, type in GoDaddy hosting login. It's this login right here. And that's going to take you to um, this page right here. I'm going to click on my domain and you'll see here that it has the FTP manager and it has all the information I need so this is my host here I'm gonna copy that into FileZilla and you don't need to write the HTTP or anything like that just the domain and uh, the username a little bit tricky on the username this is my username here this was created by GoDaddy. And there again, my password is that um, tricky password. Okay, now that I've gotten into uh, my server, these are all the files. Now this should look somewhat familiar. Remember we had this, but it was on the other uh, service. So I can go back to my GoDaddy file manager 
and it just is a different way of kind of looking at the same thing. So if I log in here, okay, you'll notice I have these files here, and these are the same files that I have showing here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, go to plugins, okay, now these are all my plugins. Now here's the difference. I have the zip file, and remember in the last video we unzipped it in here by using this unarchive function. Well, we would do the unzipping of the file actually on the desktop. So if I go in to my desktop, here is um, here is the zip file, okay? And so I double click there, and then I would drag and drop that onto the desktop, and that unzips it or unpacks it. Then it's in an uncompressed format. It's in a file folder, which exists on my desktop. And so all I need to do is drag and drop that unzipped file onto my server. And it goes ahead and it uploads it. And you see these little things that it's 100%, 100%, 100%. So it's doing it in a systematic way. It takes a little bit, but no longer than it would take using the file uh, file manager through GoDaddy. It's somewhat of a big file, but not too bad. It's just going to take a minute, and then I'm going to go back into my server, excuse me, my dashboard, my GoDaddy dashboard, and I will have the files on there. Okay, that's all complete. So now I go in, here's my site, go into my dashboard, I go to plugins, and there's Jetpack, activate, and I'm done. So that's how to use with file transfer protocol. And so moving forward, we're going to have that as part of the, uh, part of the workflow because it's so much faster and so much more intuitive. So I can see these files on my server. I can see them on my desktop. I'm just dragging and dropping them across. Once you learn how to do that, it's just so much easier. And so um, this is what's called a file transfer protocol client. And all you need to know is the hosting name, username, your login password, which you can get off of GoDaddy in your file transfer protocol manager and you get there by going into your um, domain manager and uh, it's it's really that simple but you have a little bit more functionality than you do here on the FTP manager so start using it because in the next step we're gonna load multiple plugins all at once to make it easier